what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Brian and Devon here, here with you. About to do your Leo Virgo cusp reading. That's right. Woo! So what's up? What's going on? How you doing? You enjoying yourself? It's Monday. I know, right? I know. But you know, we get through it. That's how we do it. Alright, so let's find out what's going on in your energy. I appreciate you for showing up to your video to get your message. I also appreciate my subscribers and my members. You guys are wonderful. Alright, so let me uh, shuffle these up and we'll get straight into your message, you okay? A monster. Good brand new deck. Well, it's not brand new, I just haven't used it in a while. Alright, so let's find out what your energy is now. Two cards for the first page of coins, page of pentacles. Okay. That's the first card. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. No. Seven of pentacles. So page, page of pentacles, seven pentacles. Well, it looks like somebody wants to send a message to you about investing in something. It could be financially, right? So maybe you could be getting some messages from work. Yeah, how um, much longer is Mercury in the microwave? Because like... Uh, it's definitely about finances for sure, okay? Maybe it's something that you invested in. Or it even could be that you want to put out a message about investing in something, okay? We're going to find out. So let's get to the story because that is your present energy now, okay? All right, good. Here we go. Where's your next one? Ace of Swords. It's about the truth. Okay, so somebody wants to speak about the truth. Okay, this is the message, okay? Because that page of coins is right next to the Ace of Swords. So... I still can't tell if it's about surely finances, Knight of Cups. No, it's about somebody feeling that they want to invest in something or someone, okay? I mean, they could be wanting to invest in you, right? I still feel the finances are tied, right? I'm just not sure if it's you're getting the message, but it definitely um, is about truth, clarity, Someone has um, this approach that they want to come in with, okay? And the approach is about, you know, they're, they're kind of feeling ecstatic. They're kind of feeling like, you know, they want to take action on their emotions, okay? Page of Swords, because they've been doing some research. Research. Gathering the information. interesting well let's keep going mm. four coins four pentacles somebody's been um, holding on really tight so whatever information that they found out so somebody's been holding back okay somebody's been holding back some information um, and they think it's you this is all you okay so you've been holding back some information regarding the truth but now you want to come in and, and bring this um, this news this information and, and it has to do with the seven of pentacles it's investing okay yeah and how they feel stuck okay so you're feeling stuck because you've been holding the truth in and now you want to release it okay you've done you've done some reflecting you you've really looked at the truth you see things for what they are okay that's the message this is what you want to send out or maybe you already have okay let's just see <laughs> only you know that part all right, next card is this. Ooh, two of wands. Somebody has definitely made a decision. <clears throat> okay, so somebody had a bit of time 
to reflect on the truth of the situation, right? Whatever that situation is for you. And now that they've gathered all the information that they need that they've been holding on to, they um, want to do this. They want to have a conversation. Conversation. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, she's definitely, I mean, she's, ooh, she's a bad mamma jamma. Yeah, Queen of Swords definitely um, is intuitive. Um, maybe somebody's made a choice about a Queen of Swords. This could be a air sign energy, right? What could be, it is. <laughs> I mean, it's like Libra, right? Yeah, somebody's made a decision about an air sign here regarding the truth, knowing the truth that they've been holding on to because they've been doing a little bit of research, a little bit of spying, a little checking things out, right? And this is all the things that um, you've been holding on to. Yeah, that's you. This is all you. Seven of Swords. Ooh. Okay, so this Queen of Swords has been lied to. Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords. So, someone's been lying to a... Well, you've been lying <laughs> to a Queen of Swords because you've been holding on to some information that you went about in a kind of, say, deceitful way. You can't say nothing but the truth, right? The deceitful way is that Seven of Swords that's lying, cheating, stealing, trying to get away with something. Wow, where do we just go with that, right? <laughs> hey. Well, my friends, let's just keep on shuffling. Let's see what this is about. <clears throat> Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Well, this is going to be some swift communication, okay? So... Uh, here in the beginning with that you, you you know you wanted to put a message out that you wanted to invest in a person and, and that person is lined up right here because you have that um, the seven of coins right on top of the page of swords with the queen of swords yeah Wow. Wow. Three of Swords. They want to tell you how they hurt you. I mean, you want to... <laughs> it's crazy. You want to tell them how you hurt them. Yeah. This is the swift communication that's coming in um, now that you want to invest in the situation. And it doesn't have to be like in this romantic sense. It's just um, you're holding on to information. Um, but now that you know the truth, you felt stuck in making a decision about a queen of swords who you lied to, right? So now you want to communicate about how um, you hurt them. So I feel like an apology is here. Okay, even though we don't have that card out, but let's just keep going. All right, what do we got here? Justice, yeah, you want to bring justice into this person. And it is confirmation that it is an air sign because you have the Queen of Swords on top of the Justice, which are both like with Libra, right? Okay, so yeah, you want to bring justice in. You want to heal. Well, you could say it'd be healing because that justice with the three of swords. You want to bring justice to this hurt, this heartache. This is the message. Okay. Oh yeah, 
have seven of wands. Wait, two, four, six, eight, or nine of wands. The nine of wands. Okay, I count the wands. <laughs> it's like it's been a minute since I did Roman numerals, right? <laughs> okay, so anyways, nine of wands, right? Um, it kind of seems like this air sign, because that nine of wands is the air sign energy. This is that justice, right? Because it's all right next to each other. Um, I feel that they've had, you know, put things in the past, right? They have let things go. They've let bygones be bygones. Um, you know, they were continuing moving forward despite being hurt, right? They're still pressing forward, okay? Now, I'm going to keep going because this is getting real juicy and um, typically with my spread, that is the end of the story, but I want to keep going here because I, I know that there's more here, okay? So, let's just continue. Knight of Swords. Yeah. You want to come rushing in. You feel that you want to come rushing in. You want to take this action, right, um, in your mind. So you're, like, psyching yourself up. Psyching yourself up for what, though, right? You've already put out the communication, or you will, or you have. You know, take it how it fits, because these roles can be reversed or switched, right? But this is all definitely your energy towards an air sign. No doubt about that. Hello. Oh, Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles. It's about a brand new opportunity, right? And this opportunity revolves around stability, okay? Because that Pentacles is stability. So um, it doesn't have to be the money part because stability is in, you know, in our logic, in our emotions and, you know, things like that. So with the... Um, oh, well... With, with that Knight of Cups, I mean, the Knight of Swords right there, and you have the Knight of Cups, um, you started to take action emotionally, okay? That's how you wanted to bring this truth of what you knew that you've been holding on to. Okay, so you know the truth about this person. And it's like, you lied to them, but now you want to come in because you're using your logic and wanting to take this action to have communication with this air sign to bring justice to kind of, um, like we'll just say bury the hatchet, right? Bury the hatchet over the, the betrayal that happened. The hurt, the heartbreak. Okay, and so now that Ace of Pentacles is like, you want to have an opportunity to what? Five of Cups. Frustrated. Two of Swords. Okay, so you're frozen in your mind. <laughs> Here we go again with y'all. I can with your brain. It's like, really? Okay. So your emotions say that you want to, to have a new opportunity with this air sign, but it's your brain that is frustrating you in making this actual decision. Wow. All right, let's keep going. Totally fresh cards, fresh energy. I love it. Okay. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. It's like you have people blocking you. Okay, maybe they're telling you no, I don't know, that kind of thing, but you definitely with that seven of swords, two of swords, I mean, seven of wands, two of swords, you have people blocking you. This is why it's a tough decision for you to want to come in, and this is why you're frustrated. 
And I'm just going to tell you how it is, right? Right. All right. Two a cup, three a cups. There's the third party involvement. You're blocked from having this communication because you're involved with somebody else. Meaning, you could speak about how you feel, but how you feel is really not what you're saying. But when you think about what you want to say, which is investing in this person, you can't because you're blocked because you're dealing with another party. Oh my goodness. What? All right, let's keep going. Oh boy. Yeah. Eight of, eight of pentacles, the eight of coins. This is definitely hard work for you. Yeah. Hard work. But you have the strength. Well, maybe it's hard for you to get the courage. That's what it is. It's hard work for you to get the courage to really actually put forth the action to the emotions that you speak about. I know that was crazy. <laughs> All right, my friends, that is the story. We're going to wrap it up here. and We'll get into your verdict here. and Let's see if we clear this up without having to use an oracle or a shop card, right? All right. Okay, full card. That's pretty good. So far. <laughs> we'll get the last card here. We'll, we'll, we'll give you the whole verdict. All right. <clears throat> well, Six of Swords, full card huge ringing in my ear man someone's talking about me. you better cut that shit out <laughs> okay full card six of swords taking this journey is not as hard as you think you just need to persevere in your mind because your mind is your worst enemy and you know it is your emotions are great because they're just really flowing you really want to you feel that you want to come in maybe you already have speak these truths blah 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 but it's not going to happen in your mind because you're still dealing with a third party situation and so that's really what's making it hard for you to show that courage to take that leap of faith okay let me get just two more cards uh, but it says it'll be smooth sailing if you just Lock your mind down, right? Take off the blindfold. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be left out in the cold. Maybe you're going to leave this third... Well, okay, no, never mind. You need to leave this third party out in the cold. Okay? It's foolish to think that you can carry on both. Whether it's physically, mentally, or emotionally. Yep. Whoever you're dealing with is a queen of wands, reversed, they're, they're negative, they're dark, they're uh, narcissistic, they're um, just really a bad person. I hate to tell you that, but I'm going to just always bring the truth, right? So yeah, you need to leave this, this third party out in the cold, okay? If you want to have smooth sailing with this person um, that you hurt, that you lied to, sorry, I'm just going to keep it real, um, you will have victory in the sense of your mind will finally be at peace. Your emotions are already kind of going towards this, this air sign. But you need to fix this other garbage that you got going on. Yeah. Have the strength as you do. Ferocious Leo. Right? Use your 
brain, Virgo, to really assess the situation of really what you want. Don't let somebody else influence you in your mind to think that they're the one that you want because they don't know how your heart feels. Okay? They're just tricking your mind. And, and I hate to say it, but it, it, you're susceptible to that. So leave this uh, dark energy person out in the cold if you want to have a new beginning and a new journey with this air sign. And so, uh, wow, <laughs> that was crazy. I almost felt I had to do an Oracle card, but I cleared it up for you pretty good. So, hey, I appreciate y'all coming out here. Thanks for taking the time in these 21 minutes and two seconds to enjoy your tarot message. I, you know, I don't hold back. I just tell you exactly how it is. And sometimes it's going to sting a little bit, but you know what? We need to get that to put things in perspective, right? So with that being said, my friends, it's Monday. Enjoy yourself. Be blessed, be brave, and be well. Peace and prayer every day. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.